Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session. Today we're going to talk about using tabs in Microsoft Word. Now if you know how to use tabs correctly, you really have a friend in Microsoft Word. They're super, super useful. So um, let's start to have a look. We're going to look at the left and right hand tab, the uh, decimal tab and the leader tab. So let's have a look at our document here. Now firstly, we want to make sure that the ruler is selected. So the ruler should go along the top of the document here. If it isn't selected, if we just go up to view yeah, um, and make sure ruler is selected. So you see if I unselect it, the ruler disappears and I select it and the ruler comes back. So it's handy to keep it there actually because you can also see your margins for your document. So there we are. Now, as you can see, well, you might not be able to see actually, I've got three headings, but they're all sort of jumbled up together. Month, total sales and comment. Now, I have got a tab key on my keyboard, so I could potentially use this. So if I just click there, tab across, tab across, tab, tab. Now, as you can already see, this is a little bit long-winded and it's not looking that good and my figures aren't lining up very well um, I'd like them to be lined up by this decimal point so we don't want to make work for ourselves so let's go over to the tabs now if we go to the left hand side this is the tab selector now it's very small we could almost miss it and if we highlight over we can it should tell you what they are so we've got the left tab which looks like an L so that's handy to remember the center tab, it will tab things or align them centrally. The right tab, this is the decimal tab, so it's like an upside down T with a dot in it. The uh, bar tab, this will sort of insert a bar where you would like it to go. Um, and these are the um, first line indent and hanging indents that we discussed in the previous videos. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my information. Now with tabs they'll only work with the um, highlight with the text that you've highlighted so this means you can have multiple tabs for multiple areas of your document so it means that they're really flexible. So what I'm going to do is scroll through here again till I get to the decimal tab um, because I've got figures in my document and I want them to be aligned by the decimal point so and now I need to choose on my ruler where I want this to go. So I'm going to click um, four and a half centimeters. And you can see that that upside down T with a little dot in uh, or decimal, I should say, is now there. Now for the comments, I would like those to go um, on the right. So I'm going to click through till I get to the right tab. There we are and I'll put those here. Okay, so now let's see what happens. You notice I'm only pressing the tab key once as opposed to many times like I was before and you should also notice that the um, in the accounts in the sales column everything is lined up by that decimal point so regardless of how big or small the number is it's all lined up so even if I wanted to add in another one oops would help if I could spell so say I put in just one P it was still perfectly align it um, so there that looks a lot better doesn't it so what I could do now is just come here make that bold um, but actually the spacing isn't that good is it so even though I've just created these tabs I can easily change them so if I just highlight that go up to where my tabs are now just be careful when you move them because um, if you pull a tab off of the ribbon I mean off of the ruler sorry it will actually delete it so they're super easy to get rid of which is great when you want to get rid of them you just pull them off um, but if you want to move them, that's not good. So just be careful when you move them. So I'm just going to drag this over here to about six. And then my comments, I'll just move those over there. Just move the, that over a bit more. There we are. So that instantly looks tons better, doesn't it? 
Okay, so let's go down to the second area of my document. Now, I don't know if you've ever been guilty of this. I know I have. You want to create a dotty line, so you just keep pressing the full stop button. <laughs> um, so don't do this. There's a really easy way to do this. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, so again, I'm going to highlight that area there. Now, where it says page two, three, four, and five, I want that to be over here. So I'm going to go and select the left align. There we are. I've got my little L. Um, I'm going to click over here, 15 centimeters, I think. Now, once you've actually put um, or you've selected where on the ruler you want your tab to be, you can actually double click on it and it will open up a tab dialog box. And this gives us some more options. So let's go down here to where it says leader. Now this gives you the option of how do you want to connect your tabs by a dotty line, by um, a straight line. Um, so let's, I'm going to select number two, the dotty line. Okay. And now let's just tab. There, I've got fabulous dotty lines there, <laughs> which are great, obviously, for um, uh, signatures and dates and, and so forth. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use tabs in Microsoft Word. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to pop them below. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Bye.